Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a some assemblage required video along with a Groundhog Day Hop video. And what that is all about is I have done a layout for the last two years using the same, um, I guess, I think it was a sketch at the time. This is the first year's layout. This is the second year's layout. I'm going to do it again for the third time um, because this is Groundhog Day. Um, I am, however, going to rotate my sketch um, a quarter turn to the right, so clockwise, and then I'm going to actually flip it completely over, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm starting out with four small photos of a scouting day trip. These are actually a continuation of photos that um, I was scrapbooking during Kit Conspiracy in November, and I am using more Kit Conspiracy products. I've also added a few other items to my uh, kits. So when we did Kit Conspiracy, which is a series that MK and I do uh, twice a year, November and April, we use the same kit uh, for one week, and then the next week we switch kits, and we do that for four weeks for the entire month. So four different kits. Um, we used Nature Study for one of the weeks, and we used Everywhere from 49 and Market. Both of those are from 49 and Market for um, two different weeks in November. Um, and so I am using a combination of the two. I also had additional products from both collections in my stash. Uh, our kits are limited for the Kit Conspiracy um, series because uh, we have other people playing along with us as well. So we limit ourselves on uh, how much product we actually keep in our kits. So I am adding back in more of products from both collections. Uh, that blue paper is actually not from either collection, I don't believe. I believe it's actually from Inkwell, but I can't be 100% sure. Um, actually, yes, I can because I have the branding strip. It is Inkwell paper number two. And for a second there, I really actually liked the other side, but it was a little bit too busy and my photos were getting lost. So I flipped it back over to the blue, which was my original plan. And then I have the 49 and Market Everywhere uh, cluster kit, which is what I am building this off of. So I'm following that cluster that I just circled and I'm just building that. So I'm keeping this layout super simple by adding this cluster. Now I'm gonna add some other stuff as well, but uh, the cluster is going to take up a huge portion of it, and I am going to put that in the upper right-hand corner. Originally thought I was going to put it in the left-hand corner and just have my um, my layout just turned one turn clockwise from the original, but I decided to switch where I'm putting those because I'm going to add a boot, a wooden boot from uh, MK over at some assemblage required. Now, the products that I'm using today, you can't get in the shop, so I apologize for that. They are from the advent calendar that she did uh, for at Christmas time. Now, the advent didn't have actual Christmas products in it. It was just an advent from her for the Christmas season, and you got a variety of different things in it. So I am using a couple of things from that. If you are, if you like these things, then go and check out her shop because she's got all kinds of different and unique things in the shop. A lot of outdoorsy hiking related stuff, but she's also got cooking and right now she's got some baby stuff in there. All kinds of goodies. Gears, you can always find gears. You can actually see the gears off to the left hand side of my paper there. Those are from her shop as well. So all kinds of goodies. Okay, so I am uh, just using my liquid glue to adhere all of these pieces together. That heart is not going to stay there because I'm going to add a, the wood veneer in that spot. And so you'll see that here in just a few moments. While I am working on that, don't forget to go check out everyone playing along with the Groundhog Day Hop. I will put, I'm not sure if we're doing a playlist or... I believe we are doing a playlist actually, but um, the link will be down below in my description box so you can go and check that out. So there is the boot, which I originally thought I'll put on the photos in the bottom right hand corner, but that is actually um, my son standing all the way to the right hand side and I didn't want to cover him up because he's barely in the photo as it is. My husband's in the photo also, so um, you know it's not that I, I don't know anybody else in the photo. I actually know who all the kids are, but um, I really didn't want to cover up my son. So I thought I'd put this boot up here in uh, the curve of the boot, that little circular piece that says 
um, see places would fit really well. So that's what I decided to do. I do need to use a foam, so a little bit of foam to help support that. And it is going to kind of go off the page and stick outside of the page protector just a little bit. And I'm totally okay with that. Uh, it'll just be, you know, poking out of the album, not a problem. Um, and that is one of the nice things about having it up at the top of the page, because if it was on the side of the page, I wouldn't have that luxury. It would need to fit inside the album. This way uh, it can it can stay peeking out and that's okay. Normally, um, these cluster kits actually come with some thick, uh, it's, it's not twine, it's not ribbon, I don't know what it is, cording, I guess. And they also come with some clips and I find them to be too bulky for the most part for my layouts. But in this case, I'm going to use a clip because it's going to also stick outside of the uh, page protector and it's not going to bend or um, cause problems with anything else that I have in uh, like when the pages hit each other inside the album. It's not going to cause creases or anything like that. Okay, so I just did cut off the bottom of one of the windows in the 49 and Market collection. I think that was from the Everywhere, Everywhere collection. And I just tucked it in at the top here to just provide another layer. I kind of wanted that greenish brown that's in that matte paper in the upper right hand corner down in my top cluster here. And so that is why I decided to go with that piece because it was the one that most closely resembled that color. And I just wanted to bring that color down and over. And so I'm liking how that looks. Um, the wood veneer, you do need to remove the masking that's on the top of it. So you might have seen me doing that uh, partially. I didn't leave it all in because it does take me a few seconds to do that, especially when it's a really detailed cut. There's lots of little pieces of masking, but it protects the wood when it is getting engraved so that it doesn't have scorch marks on it. So when you remove that masking, um, it removes all of the scorch marks that you might think are on your piece when you first get it. Okay, adding a couple of these faux heart buttons, and then I'm going to add a little piece down here in the bottom right hand corner of my photos. And this piece, I actually took my stapler to it, and I apologize, I wasn't quite on camera right there, but I put a staple in each end of it to give a little bit of added texture, and then used a little adhesive to stick it down. And then I'm going to build up a little tiny cluster down here. This is also going to provide me a place to write. I, I do have a little tab at the top cluster where it says time for an adventure. That'll probably be where the date goes. And then I am just going to write down that they uh, we were geocaching out on Angel Island in the um, San Francisco Bay. And so I thought that would be kind of cool. I do have uh, two more photos to go with this series, but they're full size photos. And um, I, I'm going to put those on like a companion page of some sort. I do have a whole bunch of photos in the series of this day in case you missed that from Kit Conspiracy. Um, this was a day of all kinds of forms of travel that we were doing with the kids. So we took a ferry, we took a bus, we took a, um, a trolley car, and uh, I can't even remember what else. But um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So that is it, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this layout. Uh, oh, the flare there is also from MK in the advent calendar, but it is a scrap and happy studio piece of flare. And I like to flatten them in my die cut machine. So if you um, don't like the extra bulk, run them through your die cut machine and it'll flatten it right out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys again soon with another video. Bye-bye.